Lazarus is a wonderful IDE for cross-platform programming. I use it, for, for example, both on Windows and on my Raspberry Pi. I can write a program, design a program, Visual Designer is included, uh, Form Designer on Windows, just copy the project across to Linux on my Raspberry Pi, or you could copy it to uh, Mac OS or to other versions of Linux. And then I can carry on designing, editing, debugging. It has all that you'd expect in a modern IDE. It has co code completion. It's just a very, very good programming system. It uses the object Pascal language. Don't let that put you off if you're not a Pascal programmer. But if you can program another language like Java or C Sharp or Ruby or Python, Pascal is really quite easy to pick up and it's a very powerful programming language with object orientation and procedural capabilities. In other videos, when I've shown Lazarus, one of the things that time and time again cropped up that people didn't like is it wasn't like other IDEs they were familiar with for one very important reason. Well, that is no longer a problem. Let me explain how to install and configure Lazarus so that you can get started with programming. To download Lazarus, go to the lazarus-ide.org website and click download now to download the version for your operating system. Or if you want to choose a particular version or you want versions for more than one operating system, go to the downloads uh, page here and here you can select for Windows, Linux or Mac OS. Now let me install the one that I've just downloaded, which is Lazarus 4 for Windows uh, 64, double click it, and after a few seconds, the installer starts up and uh, we're all ready to go. I click the Lazarus icon to start it. Because I've had a previous version, I'm now prompted to upgrade the configuration. If you've not installed Lazarus before, you won't see that. Um, now, this is the important part. Before in versions of Lazarus 3 and earlier, when you started Lazarus, it was always in multi-window, what it calls classic multi-window mode. So all the windows would, were free floating. But uh, in Visual Studio and Delphi by default these days, the windows and the form editor are docked. And that wasn't uh, an easy uh, ready to use option in previous versions of Lazarus. You had to install special plugins or packages in order to do that. So I want the more modern interface like Visual Studio uh, or Delphi. And so that's what I've selected. Now I'm going to start the IDE. And you can see that it's all in one docked environment. Uh, to show you the difference, I can change that to Tools, Options, and I can select docked form editor, unclick this option up here. And similarly for docking, this is for all the tool windows, unclick this option up here, apply OK. I need to restart Lazarus. And now you can see that this is how Lazarus always used to be, where all these windows are free floating. And the same would be if I did a form uh, design, the form editor would be free floating. Um, I just find it more convenient to have the docked version. So I'm going to go back and reset them. Always you need to restart when you do this. Apply, okay, shut down and restart. Are we back to the docked? Now, if I wanted to move these to other positions, I can drag this tab. You can see this gray tab here and drag it to some other position. And so that gives me different uh, abilities to do different sorts of docking, to you know, attach them to window edges and move them about in various different ways. Um, so that's how you do it. So in fact, here, if you want to do a free floating window, you can just undock it. Uh, using these tabs. So that's the new feature in, or it's one of the outstanding new features. It's the thing that I think that was putting off quite a lot of new users. I've had comments previously to previous videos 
uh, where that was the one thing that put off new users who were used to a docked environment and they didn't like all the free floating windows. Well, it's a simple option now, so give Lazarus a try. Thanks for watching. I hope I persuaded you that Lazarus really is a tool that's worth putting into your programming toolkit. It's great for cross-platform programming, but it's also perfectly well suited, and I use it myself quite a lot, for just standalone desktop uh, application development. If you want to know more about Lazarus, I have a series on my YouTube channel about cross-platform programming using Lazarus. Alternatively, if you want to use Delphi, which is a commercial edition of an object Pascal environment, uh, though there is a free version as well, I also have some Delphi tutorials. So go and have a look at my channel. I'll see you again with something different soon.